We are all over 2020 and looking ahead to a hopefully better 2021. In this video, we'll be talking about the 10 best TV shows coming out in 2021. Some of the shows on here do not have exact release dates in 2021, but are slated for release sometime next year. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 10. Dave Season 2 Dave, starring and created by rapper Little Dicky, is an American comedy series that premiered on FX. In the season 1 finale of the show, we finally see all the hard work pay off for Little Dicky, aka Dave, when he gets his big break and obliterates his freestyle on the nationally syndicated radio show The Breakfast Club. Just a little side note about me, so get a no need. I don't even need weed. I'll smoke this beat like all of that, all the smoke, I need all of that. Trust for them, they falling back. I don't know nothing about life, but I write it like a book. The question now for season two is what will become not just of Dave, but Gata and the rest of the team after that breakout performance on air is sure to bring with it a lot of potential problems. Already rated as one of the best comedies out there, right up there with Atlanta, the expectations for season two are not only massive, but could dictate the future of the show. Available on Hulu, the show offers a goofy charm that will draw you in and keep you hooked throughout. Number 9. Ozark Final Season 4 one of, if not the best, Netflix original series, Ozark, will sadly be ending after season 4. This brilliant series revolves around a married couple who forcibly relocate their family to the Ozarks to launder money for a Mexican cartel. Ozark was gripping and entertaining from the very beginning, but really found its footing in the third season that ramps up the tension and shines a brighter spotlight on Laura Linney's and Jason Bateman's exceptional performances. You go into business, with a drug lord, what did you think was going to happen? My ambition? Yeah. You're so arrogant, you think you can flip an FBI agent. Do you, do you know how crazy? After the absolutely insane season 3 finale, we see that the birds have ingrained themselves to the point that they may never get out of the cartel alive. Season 4 is shaping up to be memorable with so many possibilities of how Marty and Wendy can escape the cartel or have another Ben situation in the bird family. One thing for certain is that Ozark will leave us with a season finale to remember. Number 8. American Gods Season 3 American Gods is a Starz original hit series based off Neil Gaiman's book, starring the legendary Ian McShane as Norse god Odin, or Mr. Wednesday, as he travels with his newly hired bodyguard Shadow Moon across the country recruiting allies for a war against the new gods. Last season, we saw Mr. World use his brilliance to have the new gods begin to corner the old gods in Cairo. Mr. Wednesday, however, did not have such a great time in Season 2, as Mad Sweeney tossed his spear into the Horde just before he died, and all of his allies no longer view him as an ally, especially Shadow. Speaking of Mad Sweeney, we do see a possibility that the fan favorite will be returning for Season 3 with the help of Laura Moon. Number 7. Mayans MC this show is a spin-off series of the Sons of Anarchy rivals turned allies, the Mayans Motorcycle Club. Mayans focuses on ex-inmate Ezekiel E.Z. Reyes, joining his older brother, Angel, by not only becoming a recruit for the Mayans MC, but also working as an informant for the FBI. Throughout the show's first two seasons, the focus has been on finding the person that had their mother executed years ago. The season 2 finale not only gave us the answer by revealing it was Dita who put a hit out on their mother due to her jealousy, but also left a major cliffhanger after the Mayans attended a birthday party. What makes the show so anticipated for season 3 is not what will happen between Sam Crow and the Mayans after their mishap, but rather how will formerly kind-hearted Easy progress as a character after brutally executing Dita in the desert. With so many storylines set up for season 3, we can't wait to hear those Harley Davidsons revving up in the intro. Number 6. Justice League – The Zack Snyder Cut HBO has thankfully listened after years of not just fans, but also the actors demanding that the Snyder Cut of the failed Justice League movie be released. Let us help clear up the confusion for those who aren't aware. Zack Snyder was originally the director of the DC comic Justice League movie. However, Joss Whedon later replaced him and began doing reshoots and completely changing what Snyder had originally done. To say what Joss Whedon put on screen as the Justice League was a total dumpster fire would still be putting it nicely. HBO decided to finally put out the Snyder Cut. However, instead of putting out an actual movie, they decided to turn it into four episodes, each an hour long. 
After putting out the Snyder Cut trailer, a lot of fans are both understandably skeptical yet excited for the failed blockbuster movie redo to premiere on HBO Max. Number 5. Snowfall Season 4 Snowfall is an American crime drama television series revolving around the crack epidemic of the 80s in Los Angeles. In Season 3, we not only see Franklin get shot after cracked out Melody shoots him as revenge for killing her father, but also the deadly consequences of the power vacuum it created when he was incapacitated. Franklin, being as intelligent as he is, goes to Reed in the season finale and offers to continue selling crack to become a CIA asset in exchange for protection and help in maintaining order in LA. What makes Season 4 a must-watch for 2021 is that Season 3 ended with Franklin extending his hand to Reed to agree to his offer, but we never saw Reed extend his. You said you'd be here with me until the end. Did you really mean it? Will Franklin and Reed go their separate ways, or will their new partnership flourish in Season 4? Number 4. Marvel's What If what if Peggy Carter would have taken the Super Soldier Serum instead of Steven Rogers, or what if the entire MCU became zombies? These are just two of the many scenarios that could play out in the new animated series coming out in 2021, Marvel's What If. The writers explained with the announcement of the series that the events that would be depicted as changed would be pivotal moments throughout the MCU. This is not Marvel's first animated series, but what makes this one stand out is that it has the original live-action actors reprising and voicing their roles, such as Josh Brolin as Thanos and Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. The many possibilities that a lot of fans have pondered about since the first Iron Man movie may finally come to fruition in this Disney Plus series. Number 3. C Season 2 The Apple TV series is set in a distant, post-apocalyptic future. In this future, the gift of sight has not only completely disappeared for humans, but has receded so far back in the human psyche that even speaking of it now is seen as blasphemy. In Season 1, we were introduced to Jason Momoa's character, Baba Voss, as he tries to keep his adopted children safe and hidden due to the fact that they were both born with vision and would be looked at as witches and hunted down. What made this show so compelling was not only the story, but the action scenes with Baba Voss are some of the most entertaining fight sequences in all of TV. Season 2 should pick up where Season 1 ended, with Baba Voss and his son Kofin and the village shaman having to rescue his daughter Hanawa after she was sold off by her biological father, Gerald Marl, to the Witch Hunters. Number 2. Cobra Kai Season 3 Being the sequel series of the 80s classic Karate Kid movie was a huge task for Cobra Kai, but as they say, this show took the baton and ran with it. From the age-old rivalry of Johnny and Daniel to the new school rivalry with Miguel and Robbie, Cobra Kai does an amazing job combining the old school with the new school. What makes season 3 a must-watch is seeing the aftermath for all the characters after Robbie put Miguel in the hospital at the end of season 2. While we are eager to find out what happens, we honestly just want to see Miguel and Robbie go for a trilogy fight. If you want some theories for the next season, check out our Cobra Kai season 3 theories vid in the top corner. Number 1. The Falcon and Winter Soldier After being handed the mantle of Captain America at the end of Avengers Endgame, Sam Wilson teams up with Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier, in a worldwide adventure that puts their abilities to the test. While this team-up seems odd, seeing as how they don't really like each other. I'm really sorry. What? You couldn't have done that earlier? I hate you. These two have their own personal issues to deal with, as well as a common enemy. Bucky, still dealing with the aftermath of his time as the Winter Soldier, and Sam, coming to terms that he is the new Captain America, will have to take on a government that is less than thrilled that Steve Rogers passed the mantle to Sam Wilson. Marvel had to push back their Marvel Phase 4 due to the pandemic. However, that has not diminished the excitement and anticipation we have for this show to finally premiere. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out one of our other videos, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. What shows are you looking forward to in 2021? Let us know below in the comments.